All right, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a YouTube clone in approximately three minutes. We may go a little bit over, but anyway, let's get right to it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to nocode.video. And we're not really gonna build a YouTube clone as much as we're just gonna clone a YouTube environment that you can customize and build out fully for yourself. So you'll need a Webflow account. You'll just click that link. You can create an account here. And so now I'll jump right into the designer up here. And what we'll see is that we've got an exact duplicate of that no code video site. So now let me show you how to make this your own. And we've got symbols for the header and symbols for the sidebar. So the sidebar and the header are a symbol. You'll find those on every page and symbols just are reusable elements inside of Webflow. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I've got a YouTube logo already in place. I'm going to drag that in. Okay. So now my logo's there. Uh, this colors are all just set as some highlight color. So all the stuff that you see is purple here is just one master purple color. To change that, you come into the stylings panel and we'll come right here to the highlight color and I'll click edit. Or what I could even do if you have the browser extension logged in, I could come in here and take the YouTube logo and make it sure it matches exactly. So I'm gonna save that. And now you can see my titles red, my little blocks red, my highlights are red, but my icons are not red. And the reason that happens is because the icons are not uh, SVG icons. They're just basic icons. To use icons, I use uh, something called the Noun Project. And so I could just come in here, click on an icon, I drag it to my uh, desktop right there, and then I can just bring that right into my project. To start customizing the videos, now we've got basically the branding done. So to customize the rest of it, what you need to do is change the videos, change your sources, and change your kind of categories here. So to do that, we're just gonna go into the collections. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete these videos. Select delete. Then I'm gonna go to my tags, and I'm gonna select all those and delete. Just like everything else on this site, the content, the structure, the collections are fully customizable. So what you're seeing here is I'm updating all the tags with icons to match the YouTube menu. This is how I've organized the content on this site, but because it's built in Webflow, you can do anything you want with this template. You can change the appearance, you can change the menu, however you need really to suit your needs. And so now when we go here, you'll see that my categories are trending, subscribers, home history. You can again modify this any way you want. You can use the tags as categories, not, uh, this is just how I've had it set up. And then you'll see the source here, but I've got no videos. There's no videos in any of these categories, any of these tags. Um, and so from here, the last thing, the only thing you've got left to do is just add your videos. So there you go. You know. Uh, Couple other things that are active on here that I didn't cover. Uh, member stack is set up on this website. So it's a member stack template that's, uh, you can let people log in and then you can style the, um, I don't have these pages uh, styled yet, but the dashboard, the user dashboard, you know, I've just got the symbols with the sidebar and the header here, but you could create that dashboard and make it look like whatever you want. Um, fill it with whatever videos you want, build a subscription website around it, uh, you know, add a membership, start charging people, uh, get your friends together and build a YouTube just for your friends videos. I don't know what you want to do with it, uh, but enjoy. I hope you like this video. Share it with a friend. Uh, anyway, catch you in the next one. Bye.